All right, um, just recently a new icon set came out, which is basically the Fienza theme, what I'm using right now on my desktop and my dock. Um, let me show you what I mean. So this is basically meant for the GNOME 3 environment, GNOME Shell, or the standard uh, classic looking GNOME 3 environment, right? And um, it, does work on, it does work on Unity and GNOME, GNOME uh, 2, but I noticed there was some little, uh, how do you say, it? some icons were lo weren't looking right. I guess they were missing. And um, to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I'm just going to go ahead and install it, right? You right click, change desktop background, and extract here. Um, you're going to notice that my power button on the top right, and I think there's a couple other little things that we're missing too. Let me install the orange version, which is this. Apply theme. And uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but right here. See how it's not. It's, it works, but it's just the wrong icon, right? So uh, what I'm going to do is basically get this new icon set and merge it with the existing Fianza set, right? I've done this a, a few times in the past, you know what I mean? That's one thing I, I really like about the GNOME environment. You're, it, it's easily modifiable. If you don't like the way it looks, you can just change it, right? So let me uh, close these windows real quick. Go to my home folder, and let me remove that icon set I just installed. Control-H dot icons there it is oops and I believe it was the here it is swap that out <clears throat> my icon should crash or default to the standard gnome one well it should hopefully anyways there it goes so now I need to merge it with the existing Fianza set right there's a few ways of doing this. Um, you can download it from here, the the from the artist. I'll put a link to the description on on his uh, on his uh, web page, or you can install it through a PPA, right? Which would be uh, where's that? These commands right here, the original fans I set, and that's how I have it. Um, so I'm gonna, basically what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grab it from my root directory because it's installed through a package manager. So uh, let me do that right now to my file system under uh, I believe it's user share icons oops Eyes. there we go here's the original set right here so I'm going to be using this set because there's different versions of it there's a dark version there's darkest there's a blue set there's a pink set there's there's different ones so I'm just going to go with the standard you know basic version so I'm going to drag that out might take a little bit yeah, it's gonna take a little while. Ah, so that record. <clears throat> Anyways, the reason why I really like this icon set, these new ones, because of the uh, they have an orange version. I've been waiting for a, an orange version of the Fianza set for a while. So, anyways. <laughs> Alright, it's almost done. Okay, so we're going to get this uh, the original set along with the uh, the newer one. The one that's, that doesn't work properly, or at least for me it doesn't. So, double click this. And double click that. We're just going to drag and drop these folders into here. Not the files, just the folders. Drag that in there. Apply all actions. And apply all actions to files, replace. All right, devices, drag it in there. Same thing, merge it. All right, replace. All right, now we're done with that. So it's, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these files. All right, on the index file, double click it and display it. And um, right here where it says name, just go and give it something else, you know, something you can identify it with, I guess. So I'm gonna put, uh, I guess, uh, my theme I guess take the space out of it there we go you serious there we go <laughs> save it now the folder rename it to there we go Throw it in the trash. 
change the background, drag it in here, apply a new theme, and that should take care of it. There we go. And I should have some orange icons now. There we go. I believe it was that icon was missing and uh, the computer icon I believe was missing as well. There's a couple of them that were missing. But anyways, that's how I did it. Um, I hope that helped anybody. This is something I've been doing for a while, ever since I've been using GNOME. So uh, you can use this little method for other icons as well. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.